The string class in C++ is used to store string values. Before a string can be declared, the string header must first be included. The standard namespace may also be added, since the string class is part of the namespace. Strings can then be declared as any other data type. To assign a string value to a string variable, delimit the literals by double quotes, and assign them to the variable. The initial value can also be assigned through constructor initialization, at the same time as the string is declared. The plus sign is used to combine two strings, known as the concatenation operator in this context. It has an accompanying assignment operator to append a string. The concatenation operator will work as long as one of the strings it operates on is a C++ string. It is not able to concatenate two C strings, or two string literals. To do so, one of the values has to be explicitly cast to a string. String literals are implicitly combined, and must not have a plus sign between them. A string literal can be extended to more than one line, by putting a backslash sign at the end of each line. To add a new line to the string itself, the escape character backslash n is used. This backslash notation is used to write special characters, such as the tab or the form feed characters. Additionally, any one of the 128 ASCII characters can be expressed, by writing a backslash followed by the ASCII code for the character, represented as either an octal or hexadecimal number. The way to compare two strings is simply by using the equal to operator. This will not compare the memory addresses of the strings, as is the case of C strings. The string class has a lot of functions. Among the most useful ones are the length and size functions, which both return the number of characters in the string. Their return type is size underscore t, which is an unsigned data type used to hold the size of an object. This is simply an alias for one of the built-in data types. For this compiler, it is the unsigned in type, as can be seen when hovering the cursor over it. Another useful function is substring, which requires two parameters. The second parameter is the number of characters to return, starting from the position specified in the first parameter. A single character can also be extracted or changed by using the array notation on the string variable. 